Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are probably aware, Rockstar Games will be rolling out a brand new update tomorrow, which will be the Halloween update part 2. And I do have full details on every single thing that will be included in the update tomorrow, which I'm going to fully break down in this video, which will include a bunch of new Halloween masks, a bunch of new Halloween events, plus much more. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, and if you guys have been watching my videos regularly, you would have known that I've already told you Rockstar Games would be releasing it this Thursday, and that is the brand new Witch Mask. For simply playing GTA 5 online at any point over the next week, starting tomorrow, all of you guys will be able to unlock this mask straight away and it is a pretty sick and detailed mask however that isn't the only mask that we can go ahead and unlock we can also go ahead and unlock this new orange vintage werewolf mask by simply completing a bunker cell mission now if you guys are new gta 5 players and you don't even own a bunker you can just go ahead and join my discord server and you should be able to find another player on there straight away who owns a bunker and is also wanting to unlock this mask straight away you don't have to own the bunker in order to go ahead and unlock this you just have to be part of an mc or ceo organization that completes the sale and every player will be unlocking this new orange vintage werewolf mask very different to the werewolf masks that we have with the original halloween content that got added years ago a very bright orange mask so hopefully it'll be a decent mask to go ahead and put together some orange pumpkin themed halloween outfit and if you guys have missed my previous videos i will be putting together a community based halloween outfits video in the next few days so if you do want to get involved with that just go ahead and share your outfits over on my discord server and i will be sure to go ahead and check them all out however like i said all you guys have to do is complete a bunker cell mission to unlock this mask very very easily and very very quickly now the third halloween mask that rockstar games will be releasing tomorrow is this light green vintage vampire mask and in order to go ahead and unlock this mask all you have to do is complete a bunker steel supplies mission and like i said with the previous mask probably easier than the cell missions going ahead and doing these resupply missions could easily be done in five to ten minutes and of course can also be done 100 percent solo so another pretty decent halloween mask that rockstar games will be adding into the game tomorrow i do like the effect around the mouth like it's just bit in a player however as far as what else will be getting added with the halloween part 2 update tomorrow we will be finally receiving the brand new ghost hunting challenge challenge in case you guys have missed my previous videos i've already spoken about this brand new event where there will be 10 ghosts spawning in around the map at specific times like i said if i do remember i will leave a link to a video showcasing all of the ghost locations plus the times that they will be spawning so it is vital like i said go ahead and bookmark that video if you do want to go ahead and take part in the ghost hunting challenge tomorrow because you will also be unlocking an exclusive livery however of course in that ghost hunting challenge nine of the ghosts will be normal ghosts and the tenth ghost will be johnny clabitz who of course is killed by trevor in the story mode now like i said we will be receiving the exclusive livery for the brand new albany brigham which is also going to be getting released tomorrow of course this car is clearly modeled off the car from ghostbusters in real life and i've already put together a video going through all of the customization features so if you are wanting more information on the price what it comes with all of the liveries then if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down low in the description and in the comment section however rockstar games will also be adding brand new ufo business battles and if you guys have no idea what these ufo battles are it was actually added in the Los Santos Summer Special Update and of course the entire lobby can take part in this free mode event. Now the objective of these UFO business battles are simply to make your way over to Fort Sancudo, steal some spaceship parts 
and then simply deliver the parts to Omega. So once again, another UFO alien reference from Rockstar Games in GTA 5 Online. I would love it if they eventually just allowed us to take part in an event to go ahead and purchase this space docker car. It's been in the game now for what, 10 years? And the only way to unlock it is by reaching some insane high rank on the arena war points no one i know is going to reach that level legit so rockstar games might as well go ahead and just release it to all players especially considering we are getting a load of alien and ufo events over this halloween update now that isn't the only thing that rockstar games will be adding tomorrow they will also be adding the phantom cars event if you guys have missed my previous videos then you won't know this is an event based off the movie christine in real life where a random phantom car, otherwise known as this red tornado, will stalk you in free roam. And as soon as you guys get out on foot, it's going to just burst into flames and try and run you over. So it is a pretty scary and a pretty fun Halloween event that we will be getting in the game tomorrow. One that I'm personally looking forward to. However, for you guys that like to go ahead and create jobs in GTA 5 Online, whether that's death matches, survivals, races... Rockstar Games are also adding the Halloween props into the creator. So for you guys, like I said, that do want to make some Halloween themed jobs, go ahead and try out those props. If you do make any decent jobs, go ahead and post them in my Discord and I might go ahead and play them out and share them with you guys so you've got something else to go ahead and try out over Halloween. Now, as far as the new money and RP making methods that will be going on for the next week or so, Rockstar Games will be changing things up. So they're going to be adding triple money and triple RP to the slasher adversary mode. And then they're going to be adding double money and double RP onto all of the other Halloween modes, including Judgment Day, Condemned, Lost and Damned, Slashers, the Halloween Bunker series, the Alien Survivals, and the new Halloween Death Matches, which will also be getting added in tomorrow. However, they will also be offering double money and double RP on all of the Bunker Cell missions. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, most of you guys are probably going to be going ahead and completing a Bunker Cell mission to go ahead and unlock the new Halloween mask. You might as well go ahead and fill it up to the max as you will be earning a good bit of money from it tomorrow. However, as far as the brand new free vehicles that we can get tomorrow, the brand new Lucky Wheel vehicle will be the Karen Futo GTX, which normally does come with a buy it now price of $1.5 million. So it's a pretty decent car, definitely worth going ahead and getting for free. However, as far as the other free vehicle, of course, being the prize ride, and this week's prize ride is the Anis Helion which you guys can get for free by simply placing in the top four in LS Car Meet series for two days in a row. So very, very easy to get this car. Just go ahead, like I said, finish in the top four for two days in a row, and you can go ahead and claim it over at the LS Car Meet. And as far as the new discounts that Rockstar Games will be adding into the game tomorrow, as you guys can see on screen, you'll be able to get 20 to 40% off of all of these vehicles. So if there's anything you guys like the look of, like I said, from tomorrow, you will be saving a good bit of money. One thing I will say is, if you don't own a bunker, definitely go ahead and buy one because you will be making your money back from two sale missions. So it's definitely worth going ahead and buying one. However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.